Jen here, the Chatty Crafter. Um, I thought I'd come back right quick with a craft haul. Um, I've done quite a bit of shopping. This is not all from one shopping trip, but over the last of the while, I've done quite a little bit in finding some good sales. So um, I thought I would just put it together and show you what I got. Some of it I have used, some of it I haven't. Um, but it's all been purchased within the last couple of weeks or so. Um, also, I haven't made a video in a little while. I have been sick. Um, I do suffer from Crohn's disease, um, and occasionally that will make me ill for uh, a considerable amount of time, and I don't get a whole lot done. So, but feeling better now. So we are going to get right into it because there's quite a bit of stuff here. So, um, I'll show you first. I guess <clears throat> I got this package, and I absolutely love this. It's made by uh, I don't know if it's called Eek Tools or Ek Tools. I'm not sure, um, but it comes in a package. And you get this, this is a, um, a paper punch of, uh, of kind of Starburst or, or Big Flower or something like that. So it comes with your huge paper punch. It's, it's absolutely huge. Um, so it comes with that. And then it also came with all of these stamps. So we have one here that, sorry, my lighting is really bad here. So I can fix that. One here says congratulations. Um, and then two that are just little flowers. The two that are a little bigger, both little flowers again. Uh, there's a nice big one here, and right in the center it says thank you. And then there's one more big one that came with it as well. Okay, I found this at Michael's. It was $39.99. I had a 50% off coupon, so I actually got it for $20, which I was very excited about because it's a it's a beautiful collection and uh, nice stamps and uh, a really nice punch. And I'm trying to build up my punches. I don't have very many, so and please pardon my work desk. It's absolutely just it's destroyed anyway. But hopefully we'll get around to uh, getting it a little better. This is something I just bought yesterday, and I've been eyeing this up at Michaels for quite some time, and I just keep not buying it, but it was on clearance for $8. It was $25.99 originally, and I think it's just called Posies or Mix of Posies or something, um, but beautiful background stamp, uh, and great for, you know, using watercolors and, and stuff like that. So I got that for uh, $7.99, I believe. It was on clearance, so I was very happy about that one. I also got this new punch. Uh, this is, I kind of thought actually this was an edge puncher, uh, but it's not. It's also made by the EK Tools uh, brand. Um, and they're nice, they lock, so, you know, so if your kids can't get into them or whatever. But I actually thought this was, a, was an edge punch, but what it actually is is a flower punch. Uh, it also does work for edging, but um, it's actually made to make strips uh, that look like this. And you wrap them around. Uh, starting around, around a pencil or around something else and it uh, wrap as many as you want in as many different colors and they make beautiful flowers so uh, we can do a tutorial on that someday if somebody wants to see that um, because it, it is really pretty and I can show you also how I use it as an edger um, because I don't have an edge punch so my next find super exciting it's a Fisker's four-way corner punch and I found this at Staples, and it was on clearance, I think, for $9, and it was originally around $30. So, and there was no packaging with it. It was just wrapped in saran wrap and a $9 sticker, so I took it. I couldn't help it. It has four beautiful corner punches. They're, they're not just round or anything like that. There's all kinds of designs, and you can choose from any of the four. Um, and it's a beautiful punch. It works. It's made by Fiskars, which is a good company. It works absolutely fantastic. So great find. Um, <clears throat> the other punches that I got, these I got all three of these for 66 cents. Actually, here's one more. And this one I think I got for $1.50. All at Michael's. These are normally the $1.50 brand, uh, but they have sales sometimes. And you get them, I think, I don't know, 10 for five dollars or I, I forget the math anyway but it works out to 66 cents a piece get little ink pads a whole bunch of stuff which is normally a dollar fifty so this one is just uh, I'm gonna be really hard to see it's just a little cupid for Valentine's Day this one is just a Canadian maple leaf this one's a little uh, chickadee these are recollections brands yeah they're recollections um, a little chickadee and this one I think is also recollections little bit bigger uh, five and an eighth inch uh, heart punch and I did pay a little bit more for this one but not by much um, 
the other great thing about that that bin at Michael's, uh, the dollar fifty bin, is I got this out of there, and this is again every, all of the stuff that used to be dollar fifty worked out to sixty six cents each. So I I couldn't turn it down. Um, it's just an adhesive runner, um, and I go through a ton of those. So they don't. There's not a whole ton in them, but you know, for sixty six cents, you can't you can't complain. So uh, also sixty six cents, uh, ordinarily a dollar fifty. They are six by six paper packs. So, and I have quite a few of these. These are actually colors and, and patterns I don't have. So, super excited. There's 15 sheets in each, and they're six by six. Um, this is a green one. This is the pink one. Um, this is the blue one. Um, and I have them in yellow and other colors, and in the same colors but in different patterns. So, for 66 cents, uh, they're just awesome. You can't turn them down. Again, like to shop on sale. Um, I'm making a mini album uh, about my children, and I wanted some. I have two boys, so I wanted some boyish, you know, papers and things that I could work with. I found this. This is just, uh, I guess, like a letterhead, um, and it was on clearance, I think, for a dollar ninety-nine. There's fifty sheets in it, and it's just got nice little, um, you know, boy things on it, boats, airplanes, that kind of thing. So yeah, that was uh, a real good deal. Um, this one, it's going to be hard. It's a 12 by 12 kit. It's going to be really hard for me to get it in the in frame here. But there's so much stuff in here. Okay. And it's the springtime um, uh, page kit. And it comes with uh, seven double sided sheets of 12 by 12 paper. It comes with 212 pieces in total because it's got little tags and little cutouts and all kinds of things. All of these are on clearance, and the 12 by 12 and the 6 by 6s. The 12 by 12s I think are on for 2.49, and the 6 by 6s are like a dollar 49 maybe. So dirt cheap. You just can't beat that for all these little uh, cutouts and tags. They're great. Um, <clears throat> I found these at Walmart, and I have been having trouble just finding 12 by 12 plain card stock, except at Michaels, and I don't want to pay a dollar each. Um, so I tried using uh, Bristol board and cutting that up, but I found it really wasn't a whole lot cheaper because I could only get two sheets out of one. And anyways, so I found these at um, Walmart, and there's five in a package, and they are Bristol board like, um, except they're not all folded and rounded, um, and they're white. They're bigger than 12 by 12, so I can cut them down. Um, and there's five in a pack, and they were a dollar sixty-seven a package. So, and they also come with a dollar off coupon for other um, products from this company, Art Skills. And then there's freebies back here. I think it's letter stickers, if I'm not mistaken. And I got two of those. So, dollar sixty-seven each at Walmart. I did <clears throat> find some uh, twelve by twelve cardstock at Michaels. I got three more sheets. Um, I usually just buy it like this in whatever color. Uh, is available when it goes on clearance. They often go on for like 29 cents a sheet um, or they go on sale for four for a dollar and that's usually when I'll buy them and I'll just pick and choose and get colors either <clears throat> of just plain paper but I like to get the card stock to be able to build albums and, and so on. So these are 29 cents each so I picked those up. Now the main reason I went to this uh, shopping hall to Michaels was because they had these pads of paper. It's 180 sheets of 12 by 12 in here um, cardstock paper, paisley and damask design is what this is. They are only single sided, you're probably not going to be able to see a whole lot of it. Um, but the designs are just beautiful, you can probably see that one, just gorgeous. And these were $25.99 but they were on for $14.99. So this was the reason I went, I wanted one of these. So 180 sheets, um, real good for $14.99. Then, uh, just walking down the aisle, I happened to see this one on clearance for eight dollars and it's called Route 66 it's recollections they are 12 by 12 and there's 48 sheets in here these ones are also single sided now I, I haven't opened this one yet but it's not um, yeah untaped so um, but it's got a lot of boyish stuff in it it's got um, I don't know if you can see that but it's got guitars and it's got um, rock band kind of stuff skull um, skull and bones um, that kind of thing and that's really why I bought it um, was because obviously I have boys and it's going to be great paper for designing stuff like that and for $8 um, this is a really nice paper pad 
this one, I went for one paper pad, I ended up with three, but anyway, this one actually came from Walmart, and um, this one I believe I have opened, yes, so I can show you, and I am in love with this, it was on clearance for $6, it's by k and Company, and it's double-sided paper, which I absolutely love, and I, do, I find it kind of hard to find at any decent price, but it was on for $6, um, 36 sheets, it's a very nice weighted paper, almost cardstock weight paper, very, very nice, and it's um, a fish, or not a fish, but a, a beachy kind of uh, seashells and um, seahorses and, and ocean kind of things, mermaids, things like that. Um, oh, and all these seashells that I can cut out and use as uh, decorations and mini books, and um, just absolutely fabulous, um, um, for $6 now, I live in Prince Edward Island, Oof. We're, we're an island. We're surrounded by beaches. So, uh, paper like this is absolutely wonderful for me. Um, I did get a new cutting board. I had two. Um, I had the Martha Stewart one that I think it was uh, 25 or 24 maybe. Uh, it was a really huge one. It worked well if very nicely um, in the area of my desk. But uh, I found it was after just a short time of use. The uh, bars were wearing off. And the one inch mark, you know, a very common mark to cut and trim was not even just making a dent but it was gouged so I returned it and I got this one uh, I'm not sure how it's gonna uh, stand up yet also my Martha Stewart one warped on me which <laughs> it probably my fault but I was using my blow dryer to uh, heat something and I was right on my craft mat and it, it made it warp up this one's much stiffer I'm hoping it will do that but uh, I'll probably just try and avoid doing that anyway so I got this one um, it's not quite as big it was a little bit cheaper but we'll see how it works out um, so then, also when I was at Staples, actually, oops, and I got, um, that punch on clearance, I got this, uh, this glue on clearance, too. It's a Scotch quick dry adhesive. Um, it stands upside down, which is nice. You don't have to always shake your bottle of glue. It's got a nice thin end, and I've seen it in a lot of videos, a lot of scrapbookers, uh, and, and many album makers using it. So, um, I picked that up, and I got that on clearance. I forget the price, but I know it was on clearance. Um, and then we got some more adhesive. Um, I've already opened the roll, but I haven't actually started to use it yet. You can see the little blue line still there. Uh, it's just, uh, eighth inch, uh, score tape. And I needed some because this, and this is from Michael's, I think it was like seven or eight ninety nine um, for this roll, which is, it's a lot considering I buy mine at the dollar store and I get three rolls for a dollar. But it is half inch tape, and sometimes you need the skinnier stuff. Not to mention, there is not a whole lot on these rolls, but there's enough uh, to do a project. And for a dollar, I mean, you, you just can't beat that. So I bought two or three of these. But I also bought this one because I did need the thinner tape for some, uh, for some, for some things. So, um, also got this again on clearance, a chromatic, uh, just scrapbooking marker. It's black. It's an alcohol-based marker. Uh, I've got lots of them, but I got it on clearance, I think, for $1.49, so I bought it uh, to do some writing in the book that I'm making. Um, we know I love duct tape, so I got some duct tape on clearance. It was the first time ever seeing duct tape on clearance uh, at Michael's, but it's skulls and bones and, you know, boys stuff, so they'll, they'll enjoy that, but it was on clearance, I think, for $2.50. Um, this little eBay find, it's just some little gems. Um, they're pretty tiny. I do have another package as well of just silver ones. Um, I am, I bought them planning to use them on my nails. I may use them on some of my crafts too as well. I'm not sure. But they're from China. They're cheap on eBay. Um, I got a couple packs of Rainbow Loom bands. Um, because I bought a Rainbow Loom for my son for Christmas. And he completely lost interest. But I made, um, take it off and show you. I made this bracelet quite a while ago. I found it real and I made it. And it's so hard to show. Um, but I got so many compliments on, uh, compliments on it from kids and adults and everybody alike. I made another one. I have it on this wrist. So I've been starting to just make this design because everybody seems to want one. So I got some more bands. Um, and if you want to know how to make it, just let me know in the comments. I'll do a tutorial on how to make this bracelet. Um, <clears throat> the other thing I got, uh, I got this from Michael's. It's the only thing I paid full price for, but I did use my 40% off the button. So... Um, these are just uh, card layers, and I plan on using these as photo mats in my mini albums. But there's only 10 in this package, and it was like $8. So uh, I think my plan is because I don't have a die cutting machine, so I'm just going to trace around it 
on some cardstock. I could get two of these and a one piece of cardstock and just cut them out because it just seems too expensive to buy uh, when there's only 10 in a package. Uh, the other things I got, a few things. Oh, a few more things for Michael, sorry. Um, it's my very first distress ink. I was pretty excited about it. The Tim Holtz distress ink. Uh, or the Ranger distress ink, sorry. And this is called Walnut Stain is the color on this one. And uh, I got a Memento Tuxedo Black uh, stamp pad. I've been wanting one of these, so I finally picked one up. Um, something I did want to show you, though, and I learned this from uh, Lindsay, the frugal crafter here on YouTube, and she's just fantastic. Instead of buying those sponges that you use to distress, um, they're expensive. I know you get to replace the pads. This is the cheapest and easiest way to make your own and make disposable ones, and you can make a hundred of them if you wanted to. What you do is you actually, here's two clean ones. Um, I should have brought out the other thing. But what what these are inside are makeup wedges. And I'm sure you know what I mean by makeup wedges. You can get them at the dollar store bag of like 20 for a dollar. And they're just the triangle makeup foam wedges. And these are just the tops off of Pop. And all it is is held in here kind of with a rounded top with some hot glue. End of story. And you have your, your ink dabbers. It's the one I use with this one here um, to... Uh, do some shading or you know blending my sides or whatever else I want to do so I want to share that um, if you need to if you want to see how to make one of these let me know it could be like a three minute tutorial because they're super simple and they're all they're fun to make and they're they're great great way to save money um, I got these both from a dollar store they're both just coin envelopes um, so I'm either going to use them maybe as tags, maybe as an album. I'm not sure yet, but I did pick them up for uh, mini album purposes. I have been getting into making mini albums and stuff recently. So um, I got the this uh, set of just uh, little gems. Um, they were on clearance because they were Valentine's Day. Um, I'm not sure why they're Valentine's Day. They, they're not hearts or anything, but because they stay on Valentine's Day in the package, they were on clearance. So they were, they were really cheap. Um, I also got these, um, hopefully to use some in the album that I'm making of the boys. Um, they're little wooden, God, that lighting is terrible. They're little wooden cutouts, um, a giraffe, uh, a turtle, um, a lion, I guess, a puppy. He has felt ears, he's super cute, and a monkey. They're 3D, they're wood, they're painted, and they're 67 cents each at Walmart. They're great. I also got this pack of foam uh, C shapes, um, and I thought this would go well with my, um, uh, you know, sea-like, ocean-like paper. Um, if I was making an album with that, and these were only a dollar at Walmart as well. Um, the other two things I did get at Walmart were these two. Um, one says Grandma, one says Grandpa. There's some 3D embellishments for scrapbooking and books. Um, for an album that I am making uh, for them, so I could get some embellishments like that. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you fell off my desk. Um, oh, sorry, and a couple more things that I forgot as well. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so, um, a couple of other things I forgot to show you. I've been seeing a lot of people on YouTube making albums out of, um, file folders. So I went to the dollar store and I found some. They were buying their set staples. Um, I haven't tried to put one together yet, but I am going to give it a try. If it works out, I'll let you know because they do look super simple. And these are like a buck a pack for like ten. So I have a couple of packages of these, um, back there to use. Uh, also dollar store doilies for making flowers. Now, these were the first ones I found. They were way too big, but I thought maybe I could do something with them. I haven't yet, um, but again, 16 in each, and they're, you can even see that, 16 in each, and they're uh, a dollar package. Again, the dollar store, this was a dollar fifty. There's 100 in this package, which is a little smaller. And this is from a different, not a dollar store, a Price Mart store. They were two for five, and there's 48, and these are tiny, or not tiny, but much smaller. And that's actually what I made these flowers, ouch, sorry, with um, these really cute flowers. I'm going to try and have to figure out how to make them even smaller as well. Um, but super cute. You can't really see, but the one with the blue center does have some uh, shimmer ink uh, sprayed on it. This one does not. Um, and if you want to see how to make these, again, let me know. Be happy to show you. Um, they're not hard at all. I also made this little flower, which I think is super.